In this video, I'm gonna tackle three things that almost no one's talking about inside your online course business. So, keep on watching. Okay, so the very first thing that I wanna talk about is marketing. And yes, there's a lot of people talking about marketing, but the biggest misconception that I get, and one of the reasons why people wanna start an online course business is because they think it's going to be easy. They think that they can just sell something, put up content, it's gonna sell something, uh, you know, something, just do a webinar, do a challenge, do a video series, it will automatically sell. And then they think there's no fulfillment on the back end. They think, cool, it's a course, they download it, and I'm, I'm good. But what most people fail to realize is that a local-based business is sometime, sometimes easier to market than a course-based business, and here's why. If we're opening up a local-based business, like an air conditioning company or a coffee shop or something like that, those are things that people already want. People already want haircuts, they already want coffee. When their air conditioning breaks, they already want air conditioning. The selling is out of the equation and it just becomes a game of, let me get in front of those people. So just by plopping a business down in a busy shopping center with a coffee shop where people are with a product that they already want, you don't have to sell. But no one's walking around saying, if I could just have a course on this thing, then my life would be complete. So when it comes to marketing with courses, there's two things that we have to take into consideration. Number one, you have to generate your own traffic. You can't just go to a popular place, like a shopping center, open up a business and have customers coming in. Number two, is you then have to convince them or sell them on the fact they need a course. So it might be one of the hardest businesses to market. However, there's a lot of elements that you can use that are very simple and also really effective. But if you're not coming into a course-based business with an understanding of you're gonna to have to learn how to truly market this thing and, and do it differently than everyone else, you might have an uphill battle. But that also brings me to the second thing, which is offer. When people create their course, there's a big misconception out there that the offer, the thing that you're selling, the way you position it, is all about the courses, all about the modules, all about the PDFs and the downloads, and it's not. Let me tell you two stories. When the Thigh Master came out in the late 80s, early 90s, it was a complete flop. It didn't sell at all. And the reason why is because they focused on the product and what you're doing when you're talking about your modules and your videos and your PDF downloads, thinking that's what's gonna sell, you're focusing on the product. However, with the Thigh Master, they rebranded it, had a brand new spokesperson on it, completely changed the marketing around it, and it sold millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars worth. Same product, but completely different offer. Now story number two is we just finished up the biggest launch we've ever done in our, in our entire life, and it was a seven-figure launch. Now we marketed and we promoted and we ran our launch for three months building up to the release of the program. Do you know when I talked about the modules and the videos? I talked about it in the last week of those three months. Why? Because I was marketing it and I was positioning it and I was creating demand for it and those are all elements that create the offer. And that's one of the biggest misconceptions that I see people make, is they think the more modules I have, the more videos I have, the more downloads I have, the stronger my offer is gonna be. And that isn't the offer, that's the product. They're two completely separate things. Now the third and final thing has two elements to it. And this is what I would call the back end. Most people think that they can just sell the course and then it's hands off, but it's actually quite different. There's two things that need to happen. Number one, there needs to be an Ascension model. And what I mean by that is when someone buys one product, there's an opportunity to increase the value of that customer by selling them into more courses, more programs, giving them add-ons, working with you one-on-one, -on -one. the list is endless. But if you think this is a, someone comes in, buys a product, and then it's hands off, you're missing out on a ton of revenue. In fact, I know a lot of people that the majority, up to 80% of their revenue comes after that first sell because you will never be able to find someone who's easier to sell to than someone who's already bought from you. And most course creators never realize that. Number two, the second element to that piece on the back end 
is that there has to be a system set up on the back end to fulfill on those things. No one wants to buy a program and then be left on their own to have to go through the program. They want support, they want help, they want community. In fact, some people buy courses and programs just for the community alone. So most people think that it's hands off, but it's actually the opposite. It's a very hands on experience and the experience picks up as soon as the sale is made. And if you don't have that process set up, well, you may have a lot of unhappy customers or customers who don't actually see results with your program. So now the big question is, is, well, how do we dial these in? How do we dial in the backend process, the ascension, the offer, the marketing? Oh my gosh, it's so much. It's actually not a lot. It's just about knowing the right and simple things to do all the way through. And my buddy, James Wedmore, is the person who taught me everything I know about setting all of that up, bringing us to create a multiple seven-figure course-based business. And he has a training going on right now called the Digital CEO training series. It's a live training series that's going to walk you through every single one of those elements. So I don't care if you're just starting out, you've already hit your first seven figures, maybe even at multiple six figures. Doesn't matter. This will help every single person who doesn't have this completely dialed in. So all you need to do is just click the link around this video, it might be up to the side below, and register for his training right now because it won't be up for very much longer. So go ahead, register, and we'll see you there.